way that they would save them two days. If they could safely get in the water themselves, they would get in their life saving boat. It was a small wooden boat and it would row out. They could only get five men on board at a time. They would get their five men, go back and forth until all the five and until all the men were safe on shore. If they couldn't go in the water themselves, they couldn't risk their own lives. So if they couldn't go in the water themselves, they would do what was known as the breaches buoy method. And the breaches buoy method involved a small cannon or a Lyle gun. Oh, he's getting beach arugula. Yes. So they would have a rope with a pair of breeches. Yeah, they do a. So tonight at five o'clock they do a demonstration of it. So they ha have a pair of pants, breeches, sewed into a life, uh, a round life buoy, red life ring, hanging from the rope. So they shoot the rope across, tie it to the mast. They have a tall structure on shore. They tie their end. So pick up a rope from ship to shore with the pair of pants hanging from it. So I have a couple pictures of them um, doing drills. <laughs> and the men climb up the mast, climb into the pair of pants, and get pulled safely <laughs> to shore. Obviously, it takes quite some time because they can only do it one at a time. But it was quite effective. And they um, did it up until about the 1950s. And they still use a similar method today, not with people, but with supplies on the open seas to transport supplies from ship to ship. And yeah, at the Race Point Life Saving Station at Race Point Beach, which is the only life saving station standing still um, here, they do a demonstration at five o'clock on Thursday night. Ocean with uh, glitter in it. it also has a uh, one of the uses is electrical wiring, insulation, and whatnot. <laughs> 